Okay guys, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Q. Um, I'm going to be walking you through uh, some of the functionality of Illustrator today and on how to use the pen tool to make cleaner lines for this guy. So first thing I'm going to do, you see I locked up uh, the main uh, layer. I'm going to call this reference. What I do is I create a new layer and we're going to start with the lines. Uh, pen tool right here. Uh, get in real close and the first thing I do is I start figuring out where I want this line to be how I want to move it around and have anchor points and those anchors are going to allow me to create cleaner lines for my character for whatever my subject matter is and yes it's white right now but in a second I'm going to change that so I'll flip it instead of lines being white we want black solid lines here you can see there and I can up the lines actually if I this guy as thick as I want them. Now it's a consistent line, it's solid, and it's vector graphics. Um, I'm sure you were using this guy or you know one of these guys, but the problem with these are that these are bitmap. Uh, we want vector graphics. They're cleaner uh, and it makes our job a lot easier. It takes a, it takes a little more time, but uh, we'll get a, a better, cleaner outcome from it. So if I go back to my reference and I'll name this guy uh, hairline, um, I'll just start working it and layering uh, this guy for my use. So now the hairline is done, I'll go to the ear section. cut it off there um, here as you see have my ear now don't worry about this because what's gonna happen is once we go here and create the inside white we no longer get that uh, and from here I actually can create a better look to this guy by just coming here where it's uniform I don't want a uniform I want it to be a taper and now we get taper lines see that um, go back to our reference and with um, here we just want to close it out for this guy so that I can see my detail and then we'll draw on the detail so I come here come here come there close it out go back go here 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 close it out go back go here here and just drag and this is basically what uh, pretty much all of the artists for these big houses use here Let me grab these guys Wanna up the line a little bit maybe not as thick as this guy and instead of uniform I can play with them a little bit if I want it to look you know a certain way certain style so it can look like it's tapering in this one will catch it uh, However, the preference is at that point, look like it grabs it. So this is the technique that I use uh, to achieve pretty much look and the style that I want. Okay. Here, naming conventions because 
I never know who is going to uh, use my designs afterwards, so I try to keep naming conventions uh, really clean. So the same thing with the hairline, you know, I have, I didn't make it solid white, but I can. There you go. And if I need to clean this up a little better, I can at this point. Make the style however I deem necessary. Cool. I'll move on. Here. Click, or we can click and drag. So you click and drag, you'll get, you know, those curves. Like here, we just want to angle, Control Z to undo. I'm using the space bar on my keyboard to be able to move these are short keys or hot keys, as they call them. And I click around, drag, and we're here because the hair is going to go in front of the head. I don't really pay too much attention to how this is going to line up here because all of those items, for example, this is head. So head is going to go underneath hairline. See that? Here. Now head, I don't want to see white right now. On head, close it out. But it's there, the lines are there. I'm going to close my reference here. I can either keep this that thickness at three. I can up it, I can down it. You know, if I want it thicker, four, five, what have you. And we have a cleaner line set for that. So head, actually, we'll go with some details on head, like eyebrows, for example. And this is the same thing I do for 2D drawings. If I'm doing, you know, 2D animation, I'll use this technique because we get layers, and those layers are important for animating, you know. And I won't even... Copy. So I control C to copy, control shift V to paste in place. I'll right click on my mouse, go down to transform, and go to reflect. We're going to reflect, and you can preview it. And we can reflect uh, vertical, and we'll get uh, a better copy. So I don't have to, you know, redo each side every single time. Now, uh, because of perspective, I know for me personally, uh, if we're talking about how his head is lined up and you want to come down just a little bit, I'll rotate this guy here. And I will also scale this down just a little bit just to get that perspective that you're looking for. But these are clean lines now. Um, they're consistent. You know, and I'll do the same technique with the eyes. This will give a better control. So if I go here, click and drag and hold in here, close it off. Now, if I click on this guy and I bring it down to something there, and I'll actually scale this down to about three. I don't need that as thick. The same thing for these guys here instead of line with the five go down to about mm, maybe three actually I'm even do two uh, it's all in preference then see to give you an idea so then I'll go back and just keep working this until you get the look that you're looking for but again we want to set a standard to how we 
work our models, our pages. Say model because I'm so used to animating, you know, so um, it's always in that with that prerequisite in mind for me. Here. So just going with a look. With a workflow that's proven, that's tried and true. Uh, with the eyeball, I don't try to draw it. I'll go to, let's see, where's my tool? Here. So, <clears throat> I'll go with an eclipse. I will just draw it, hold shift, pull it out as much as I need it, drag it inside. And now, if I want to stylize this guy, I can because it has its own set of anchors. And bring it in. And I don't need to see that at this point here. Bring it here. Control Z. Now, this guy back to the select tool control C shift control V to paste it in place and then I'll take the scale of it shift control it down bring it here and I'll just work it the scale so that I have what I need instead of two this will actually be one to give it more range So, I mean, this technique will, you know, it'll help with the process, uh, especially when it comes to revisions, because then, copy V, you have a standard for eyes, you have a standard for the eyebrows, you have a standard for how the lines work on the, um, the ears, what have you. So, what I did now is copy, control, shift, paste in place with V. Uh, I'll do the same thing. Transform. We're going to reflect to the other side and bring it over. Bring back reference so I know I have a basic idea of where I need it to be. Rotate slightly. Scale down. Bring it in place. Line it up where necessary. Let's see if that works. I noticed this guy didn't come. So do the copy paste. Now, start working some of these details. This guy, um, this guy, go back, go back. Here's, here, here. One, two, three. Close out. One, two, three. And with the nose, same idea here, just to get those lines. And I understand if this is like your first exposure to the pen tool, uh, it's going to be, you know, some kind of growing pains. But I know you'll get it. Just go with a look, you know. And I do three, and I'll show you why 
I uh, typically, if it's a straight line, I don't do just one click and two click. I'll show you real quick why. Um, because when you go here and you want to grab this guy, and if you want to taper it, for example, this is a look. But what happens if I click real quick, click here and here? Uh, that's just two. Now, when I go here and I try to uniform it, uh, it doesn't have that same control. For example, with this, this is limited. But if I want to change this guy, now I have the mind to do so. See that? But I can't do that there. It's only two. So that's why um, I try to stick with three is better. Okay. Get back to it. You know, and this is from trial and error, uh, mostly. Me working it, you know, with clients, what have you, and just figuring out, you know, my technique. So we'll click here. I won't keep that one. It's okay. Now I have all of these. Up them just a little bit to about two. Um, click here. Now, if I wanted some variations, I can. Just to get an idea of what some of these guys look like you know you don't have to stick to the same uh, stylized version but you know you have the option okay now we're gonna get back to the pen tool I'll go here go here down say this is going to give you way better control than some of the other tools here. And it's going to make what we're doing much easier. Now, uh, there's two ways I can handle this line here. I can either uh, copy this guy that I already have and modified, or I can make a new line. But I'm going to show you the technique just to copy and make uh, and modify this line. So I do Control Copy, Shift Control V, paste it in place. I will scale this guy down, holding Shift to scale it down, and you will notice that my lines uh, don't really meet. But that's totally fine because we have the Direct Select tool. Uh, Get in close here, and I can actually take these anchors and modify them to make a new line. But you're going to notice that it's still a consistent straight line here. And I can actually move these guys up, prop them where I need to be, you know, here. If I want, for example, a straighter line here, I actually use these tools here. This will convert it, not this guy, that guy. And it'll make a straighter line here. And I can just bring it down. But if I don't, you know, it gives me tools to control it. I just actually made several lines based off of that guy. I'm going to move it up a little bit. Give it a bit more control.
when you make clean lines this becomes a lot easier it becomes faster <clears throat> because we want to crank out as many of these guys as possible you see you know our competition they have I mean daily they're updating new uh, and we want to get to the point I know not in the beginning obviously we might not get there but you know over time be able to produce you know daily uh, new drawings new pages so that we keep our customers and our users engaged and you know they become our you know our brand ambassadors if I don't want for example I can hit the minus on my keyboard and if I don't want a particular uh, point I can get rid of that point if I hit plus I can add to it just so you know so if you don't have you're not restricted if you feel like you messed up you don't have to delete the whole thing you can just go back and hit plus or minus and you can add to it um, I'll go back to the select tool bring this guy mm, about right here and uh, I'm hit that to convert it uh, to anchor select you know, for example this you know I'm gonna eventually apply in some of the uh, details you have on the beard obviously keep going real quick try to get this a little faster it's like it I want uniform I want to go with something more technique -y. Here, go with the lips. And over time, you'll find your, you know, your tone for this, um, so that you're able to show Z, you're able to do this much faster um, for yourself, how you like it. You'll find different uh, techniques, different methods that'll help you. I don't like that. No. Back to select now three one two. Here, I don't want quite three. I want maybe two point five. My mm line, -hmm. yep. And this guy is about two. That's fine. So, if I grab all these guys, Control, I have to open these up. Control G. Actually, it won't. So what I'll do is object. Where is it? Right here. That. I'm looking to group these guys. There's a button. Forget it. What I'll do is I'll grab a new layer. Bring it up. All of it group. Uh, I'll take all my layers, slide in here. This will be my master layer. So if I want to click between the reference and that guy, just so it can give you an idea of what we're working on. Um, 
So I'll open this group back up. Head is uh, close to done. So we're going to add some more details around the neckline, all of that. So we'll go back to head, pen tool. And this actually works really well when you're illustrating actual pictures. Uh, you have reference to be able to trace over it and get really clean, consistent lines. Um, that's one of the great parts about this. And I want to just add more of a variance. It tapers into it. And I know it's going to be a little harder to see until I click away, but you can see it tapers into it a little better. And again, this is just about style preference at this point. Um, the real message here is about uh, using the tool and how it can properly help us to achieve a consistent look. I mean, the goal is to have each page look as though one person has touched this, even though every time we have different designers, every time we have you know, different uh, updates. There may be up to 10, 20 different uh, illustrators that will be working on this project, but we want to be able to create a standard for how we uh, move forward in our space because we're not competing against them. We're competing against ourselves. And later on, uh, customers, clients, whatever may draw a uh, a dissonance between us, so that gives me a little more pause there. So I mean, that's what we have to think in, and have in mind. Plan ahead. This is not just about uh, today, but this is about later. You know, how far can we take this? How long can this last? You know, um, what are we looking towards? So that's how I'll, I work this. Yeah. And so now that I have that, um, I'll take my head, get the white. You know, obviously, you can't, it doesn't look like anything changed, but it has. When I bring that guy back, you see it sits on top of there. And now it's actually white, black and white. This has some color tones to it, <clears throat> but the software it sees black and white. You notice from uh, all the other pages on our uh, on Happy Color, their pages are black and white. We want to create that. So I'll call this head group now. And done with the head, let's work on body. Creating a layer, uh, go back to the pen. We're gonna create the lapel for the shirt. Okay, done. So why did I go that, that route? I'll show you. 
going to be able to fill in color here. <clears throat> this guy actually has color, believe it or not. I can show you real quick. If I change it here, same thing here. It's, you don't necessarily have to close it off. That's one of the beauties of this guy as well. So we don't have to close it off. Um, however, though, you know, keep that in mind that this is going to sit behind the head or behind the lapel. So when I bring this back here, you know, I can take this guy. Far as I need to, and it looks consistent. Okay. here close it here close it there close it there all right cool now this I can arrange it arrange send to the back it'll bring everything in front of it up also, right now I don't need to see color because I want to put the various uh, details in. But here, I actually can create one that will bounce here. So what I'll do is I'll start here and start working my lapel that way so that I can close it off here. Please, if you have any questions, also, you know, don't hesitate. Um, shine, you know, we want to all work together in the collective to make this thing possible. So I'm definitely, you know, eager to hear what you guys think. So that's something that, you know, you look at it. That. I can color on, I can, and, you know, the app can see a lot better. And matter of fact, this line is thick as five, four, about three. That's fine. Same thing with these guys, you know, unless we want it that thick. We can. Four, three. Actually, we'll keep it all at four. I'll go a little faster now. Start adding in some of the details. You know, here is where I'll get a little more technical and intentional because I want to add the shirt break. Okay. Oh, no. With the shirt break, you definitely want to make sure people know that there's a break there. So we'll do 4.25. Cancel that. 4.25. So a little thicker. Uh, with these guys. Bring them down a few. Taper them a little bit. And
cool. All right, I think I'm gonna uh, end this tutorial here um, and give you this file. And so with this, you'll be able to actually check out what I did and uh, you know play with it, expand upon it, use some of these techniques. That way you have an idea of how I'll address it. You see this too sharp here. Just a matter of going in to the head layer. Grab it. And I can pull this anchor in. And now it's not sharp. More of that curved look. But this is the type of style we want to go with. This is definitely something we want to um, to work on and to keep a consistent look at how our page is going to behave, how it's going to look. Because when people look at it, even if they didn't see the logo, we want them to know that it was us. Um, that's our signature. I mean, I hope that helps. I do. You know give you guys an idea of like a direction I guess that we should be looking into getting into Put the buttons, let them paint the button. No. Personally, I like multiple buttons. So I do copy, paste in place, drag down, bring it in, copy, paste in place, drag down, bring it in. No. So you know that's a Shirt there. Yeah, so I don't know. Something like this uh, will work, especially for the uh, you know, bring in, especially for the app. You know, cool guys. Well, again, I was Q. Uh, I hope this helps everyone to get a an, an understanding of uh, the technique the pen tool you know a couple more of these guys up here that'll help with the stroke uh, and blending it please let me know what you guys think